Ooh, hello YouTube. Welcome back. This is video three. Uh, this time it's not weddings. I'm gonna go ahead and take my jacket off so I don't make a bunch of noise with my Velcro. Mm -hmm. Ah, much better. So, I'm going to edit one photo today. It's not of a wedding, obviously. It's going to be of an actual portrait session I did. Um, this is of a band here in Salem, Oregon, or no, Portland, Oregon, and they basically just needed new Prescott photos. Kind of gave me free reign to do what I wanted, uh, have a little creativity. So uh, this was one shot that I thought was a throwaway. And once I reset all of my settings, you will probably see why. Um, we were kind of rushed and we're shooting on train tracks and my light stands were just all falling down and I didn't have anybody helping me. You know, the list goes on, you know, our photographer problems and issues. So I'm gonna show you the power of RAW again. Uh, you guys know if you've seen my other videos how much I emphasize on how much I love RAW. So um, if you're just tuning in, go ahead and watch the other two videos. Uh, on editing raw photos, uh, editing wedding photos. It's pretty much the same thing as this. Honestly, you can take these techniques and use them in any type of photos you want to edit or shoot, in all honesty. Um, keep that between me and you. It's a little secret. So we're going to get started. Uh, calibrate your screen if you haven't done so. If you can't do it, then whatever. It's no big deal. I just you know recommend you do. So I'm going to reset this. And are you guys ready for this? Ah, that is straight out of the camera. So to get some setup on this one, I uh, shot 5D Mark II with my 35L, 1.2, sorry, 1.4, and I shot it at 2.2 uh, at 1 13th of a second at ISO 125. So you might be asking why, 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 what's up with this? Uh, and I'll tell you, um, just to get some setup, I had a flash camera right, I think I had a softbox on it, pretty big softbox, hitting this guy right here. And then I had another bare bold uh, strobe over here. I think that's probably the stand right there. And just kind of aiming back at the camera to get this flare, slash the hair light, um, and whatnot. So, uh, actually, no, this light over here was a beauty dish with the Alien B. Or no, a, I think it was an Alien B. B1600, and over here was another B1600. So two, two lights set up. Um, it was getting to the point where it was pretty dark and my lights, are they were too powerful. I didn't have any of my speed lights. And so I had to throw an ND filter on my lens to bring down the flash exposure. So to compensate for that, I wanted ambient light still. So if you know this very simple rule, aperture controls, flash, shutter controls, ambient. So I had to drop my shutter a lot uh, to one thirteenth to even get enough ambient light. I mean, this was shot, you know, before or after sunset. And so, you know, it's pretty dark. So when I got home, I looked at this file. I thought it was pretty much crap. Uh, it didn't look good to me. I just, you know, everything looked blown out, too many shadows, blah, blah, blah. The background looked like crap. I just did it wasn't my style. I didn't like it. So I kind of threw it away, didn't really touch it until now. Uh, and so I'm going to kind of go through, uh, what I did to kind of make this image, you know, come back to life and show you why it was able to because of raw. So we're going to get started. White balance I'm not going to touch yet. I'm just going to go ahead and play the exposure, probably leave it at zero, honestly. Highlights, I'm going to pull them down a lot just to get the detail back in his face. Uh, I don't normally do this just because it'll make images look flat, but in this case, I'm going to do it. So... Let's check this out. Sorry, I just had to make sure everything was recording on the audio. Um, okay, so getting back in here. Shadows, I'm gonna throw these up a lot just to get more detail in the shadows. Uh, whites, maybe throw them up a little. Uh, blacks, I'm gonna throw them up. And I never do this with, with the blacks, honestly. I just, I don't ever do it. I don't know why. I maybe just usually need to have more blacks in them or shadows. So in this case, they don't. So and I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to set this, you know, really high to see where I'm painting. 
take that off again because it's non-destructive and throw some shadows in there just to brighten that up a little on his face. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to throw some clarity maybe on there. And that's good. I'm going to get another brush and go over his whole face. And I'm going to bring the saturation down just a smidge. That's fine. Clarity, I'm going to bring it up a little. Maybe to six. That's good enough. Um, I'm going to go back to that brush that I just did. And take that saturation out because I don't like it. So now I'm going to start playing with white balance. I think there's too much magenta in this photo. I think the green-ish tone of tint kind of makes it look more uh, hipster, if you may say. Uh, that's kind of the look they're going for. You know, Portland, Oregon, they're quite Portlandia, hipster, weirdos. So, got to do what they want. Um, so, getting back to this, going to grab another brush. I'm going to go down his jacket here. I'm going to reset that. And I'm going to put some shadows in it. And grab the clarity and kind of make it look like that sweet little metallic-y. And I'm going to, with the same brush, go over here. And that's pretty cool. Maybe throw that clarity up a little more. I'm going to get a new brush and go down the middle. I really, really like how the light was hitting here. It looks just really edgy and cool. I'm really digging it. So I'm going to bring it down a little even more. Clarity to emphasize it just a little. Grab another brush. Go under scarf and see what we can do with this. Maybe grab the saturation. Bring those tones up a little. Clarity just a little. It's cool. Now let's play with this beard just for kicks and giggles. Let's go over it. Yes, look at that. Nice white beard. Get rid of these settings. Clarity is going to make it just go crazy. Uh, could you even grab it? <laughs> yes. Do you think you would notice? Oh, it's a little cold outside. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that and take the clarity down a little. That's pretty funny to me. I dig that. I'm going to go down here now for the overall image and grab the clarity and bump it up. And now that I do that, I see that his beard is a little too much. So let's bring it down. He would probably notice and get mad. I'm going to bring the shadows down a little so it kind of darkens it up. It's good enough for me. Um, let's go ahead and grab that one on his face again. Kind of looks still like it's clipping a little, so I'm going to grab that. That's good enough for me. Shadows, let's see. Nope. Maybe add a little. No, no, don't like it. Don't like it. Gonna grab this brush again, cover the left side of his face. In fact, now I'm gonna get a new brush and just kind of go right here inside. It looks a little too bright for me now, so I'm gonna bring it down a little. That's good. Okay, on to her. Let's do some skin cleanup stiff. Make sure you're on heel up here. We're going to do what we can. I don't like to do much skin retouching. It's not my job, but it kind of is, you know. It just takes a lot of time. Um, and you really don't want somebody to notice that you messed with their skin too much. But we'll go here and grab the skin, soften skin brush, and just kind of run over it. See what that does. Uh, not much. I'm going to grab the clarity and bring it down a little more, maybe. And zoom out. Yeah. You know, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna grab a new brush and go over her face and grab the clarity and just bring it up a little and grab the saturation. And go ahead and bring it down a little. I really probably keep it where it's at actually. That's fine for me. Um, let's see, grab a new brush, grab clarity. I'm just gonna kind of go over her clothes again like I did with this guy over here. I'm just winging this, kind of like I always do. But, you know, I have, I have some type of flow, usually. Sometimes. Okay, so I added some clarity here. I'm going to go ahead and add it over on this part of her clothes. I'm going to grab a new brush and grab this black part of her shirt, or whatever she's wearing, and make it a little darker. It'll make it stand out a little more. Uh, I'm going to go under her neck a little and darken that. Kind of emphasizes more of her jawline, which looks good. Um, I don't know what all this garbage is, but, you know, let's just get rid of it. See if we can. 
And that's good enough. Maybe we'll see if we can get rid of that crap. Cool, look at that. Oh, one more. Look at that. Okay, there we go. Um, this guy's face is still looking a little odd. So, you guys can see how many brushes we got going on here. It's getting crazy. Let's see what we got. Just this one, it looks like. Okay, we'll bring these highlights back up. I don't really mind if this right side of his face clips too much. It's fine. Uh, if we want, we can go in here and grab another brush and just lighten up this eye. Never lighten up the whites. Just the pupils. A little trick and a little mistake everybody always makes. And I have made many times. I just want that eye to come out of the shadows a little. Hey, go away. Come on. There we go. And that's really too much already. So we're just going to leave that. Maybe go over this eye. I don't even go over the... Yeah, that's... You can see what I'm doing. <laughs> going to grab the saturation and bring that green up. Maybe the clarity a little. Cool, that's good for me. Um... Over here I had this brush that I went over her clothes with. I'm just going to go over her whole hair, just for the heck of it. Maybe grab the saturation and bring it up. Kind of make that blondish come out a little more. Um, her glasses, little Ray-Bans. Looks like, you know, we could probably make them frames pop more, hopefully. I'm just doing a real fast, quick, quick mask. So, you know, take your time. Take your time. Threw some clarity up in that. That's good enough for me. Uh, her eyes are a little, little blah. So let's go ahead and go around there. Grab some clarity, saturation. You can even make them sharpened a little. That's probably too much, we'll see. Oh, this is how you can make all these little dots go away. No, sorry, wrong. Here, auto, there we go. So then you can go up here and adjust and see what's happening in live time. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a little light and that's good enough for me. Um, we have some garbage up here. We'll just get rid of it if we can without making it look too noticeable. And that's a little noticeable, but I really don't care too much. I'm gonna grab another brush and show you the power of raw once more. Reset my brush and just kind of get something on there so I can see where I'm painting. I uh, don't want to go over his hair really. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of do the background here. Um, again, I'm taking, I'm going real fast, so take your time if you're to do this. Um, and what I'm gonna do is grab the shadows and bring them up a little. Maybe grab a little contrast in there. Grab the saturations and bring them up a lot. Clarity, bring them up a lot. And now we start to get detail in the background that we really did not have. And even with that same brush, maybe go down this train tracks. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna erase that, undo that, and get a new brush, and go down these train tracks and give them their own little mask. Ooh, look at that. Okay, that's you know rough, but good enough. Stop that. Maybe throw some shadows in there. Clarity is what I really want. I love clarity. Saturation too much. Don't want those blues in the sky that are reflecting on this rail to come out. Grabbing a new brush, gonna go over this guitar. Really cool guitar. I dig it. Grab clarity and it'll make it pop. Just like that. Bam. So, um, let's go ahead and look at what this looked like before. Nope, that is not what it looked like before. This is what it looked like before. Bam. Oh boy, now I'm starting to undo stuff. Okay, here we go. So, before, after, before, after. Um, I might even go down here and add a lot more sharpening, and we might even add some grain because they're hipsters and they're cool. First, we'll do some vignette, maybe. Kind of isolate the subjects again, like I say in my other videos, just a little. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, we'll grab some grain. Uh, not that much. Come on, Lightroom. Uh, we're giving it that film-esque look. Um, I dig that. We'll zoom in. We'll see the detail. Pretty cool. Grain takes away a lot of the detail. You can see right there. So I'm just going to go maybe that much. 
change the size a little. I just don't want it to take too much detail out of this shot. I really enjoyed how much how sharp this looks, especially at 1 13th. Now you might ask yourself, how can you get a sharp shot at 1 13th handheld? I wasn't using a tripod. Well, most of my light on them was just coming from flashes. In fact, almost all my light. And so flash, my flashes pretty much froze my subject. So really, you can shoot pretty low shutters. And I'll, you know, hopefully eventually I'll be doing uh, tutorials actually out on location with off-camera flashes and subjects and models and people, multiple flashes, cheap flashes, ones you can go buy for 50 bucks and make them look like a thousand dollar pro photo light. So it's really all on how you use it. Uh, don't ever listen to what other people say if they say otherwise. Um, so once again, thanks for watching. Uh, please go to my Facebook page and like it and see some more photos that I, you know, post on the regular there, as well as uh, like this video, like the other ones, comment, let me know what you think. I can get a preset for this one if you want, but it probably won't look good on most photos. So um, if you haven't seen on my website, davidjamesvisuals.com, I have a new section for photographers. So if you go there, you can actually download uh, presets from previous Lightroom tutorials. So go there and you guys can go ahead and download my presets for free for now and uh, use them and let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll get some more banged out. And as you can tell, I'm not sick anymore. Thank the Lord. So thanks, YouTube. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.